Erev Tov, I didn't want the Olam to miss out from the beginning of dawn of Tainus Esther. So those that get the video and have a chance to listen before you go to sleep and, can, and maybe review it again tomorrow, this is for tomorrow. But because it's already brought down in the Holy Svarim, Kava Yoshal, that there's a big Indian to get up by dawn, that means by Aloysa Shacha, based on the fact that the Pasuk in Tehillim Chafbe says, Vam Natzelech Ala Yeles HaShacha, Ayelis Hashach is referring to Esther Malka. And there's a fasting Yerushalmi is all about the Aliyah Hashach, what exactly it is. But the Kavi Yashar says that if a person gets up by Aliyah Hashach and says, Chafbeis, Tehillim Chafbeis, who speaks about Esther Malka, Keili, Keili Lama Zabtani. It's a tremendous school, it's an amazing, auspicious time to ask for whatever we need. And of course, everyone has the incredible needs. Tzalos of Klai Yisrael, Bichlal, and Beprat. And to light two candles, one is Zechah Nishmas Mordechai, one is Zechah Nishmas Esther Hamalka. And if you didn't get up by Elisa Shachal, the whole day, it's a powerful day where a person can mamash besiege Rabbein Shem, and it's an amazing fast day, speaking now halachically, that although it's like one of the fast days that is brought down the halacha, so a person should fast unless one is nursing or a lady is pregnant, and if a person thinks... <laughs> If a man thinks they're pregnant or feels like they're pregnant and they're nursing and they really don't feel well and they need to lie down, they're also potter. Someone asked me if they're flying. So there's two, there's two opinions regarding the change of hours. So since this fast day is called, like the Ravid says, it's actually a happy fast day. It's not the Zeicha to the Choban. The point of this fast day is all about the idea that a Yochid, an individual, could call out and Hashem is going to answer. That's what Tainus Esther, that's what it's called Tainus Esther. So it's such a powerful day. I want to just share with you one such, one of my favorite Vartlachs, just to get us into the mode, especially we're not going to speak until, to, until Purim Day. So tomorrow night, of course, starts the, the reading of Megillah. There's a mitzvah to read at night and during the day. Someone just asked me, night and day, there's a chiyuv. You have to hear it from a cloth. If a person is, can hear it at home, ladies can get together and someone could lead. They don't have to go to a minion. But one has to hear from a cloth. Someone asked me if they could just read from the Chumash. You can't read from the Chumash. You have to read from a cloth. If someone has a difficulty fasting, so once the fast ends and they have a difficulty, they're not going to be able to concentrate on the Megillah, they could snack. As long as you don't have the size of a Kabeya of Mazainus, you're good to go. And then, so you could snack, you could drink. If someone needs it or not, it's better to wait until the end of the Kriya Sam Megillah. Mitzvah Hashem, we're going to discuss tomorrow, um, meaning Purim Day, the incredible secrets that are available. But just to give you a little bit of an idea, it's brought down in this phone that when you hear the Megillah, the Schus Mordechai and Esther, there's oiras, there's lights. And the same lights that were then in the time of Megillah's Esther, and when the whole miracle that took place is what exists when the reading of the Megillah specifically. And we could tap into that Koyach, that Yeshua, that Hashem, even when we think He's not there, He's really there. Have an amazing Yom